hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to set up einstein here in salesforce let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in salesforce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go setting up einstein features in salesforce can enhance your organization's sales processes by providing insights and predictions once you are logged into your account before you start make sure you have the following okay a salesforce edition that supports einstein features for example enterprise performance or developer editions and of course an admin access set to set up and configure features because some einstein features needs to be activated within your salesforce environment once you're logged into your account i want you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon i want you to click on setup now i want you to hover to the quick find in the search bar type in einstein you see that i want you to click on it there's going to be like einstein assessors bots assessors einstein platform and einstein ai so there's a lot of that you can work with now here all you have to do you have all of these sales activity capture and einstein search click on this setting now you can use einstein search to increase productivity and complete tasks directly within the relevant search results all right you can use the personalization actionable insight results all these you can make sure you check all these options all right now you see it requires actionable instant results and setting user permissions make sure you have that permission level you can also generate search analytics using the uh, einstein search and of course you can review the einstein search data usage or the einstein search considerations right now in terms of the activity capture which we click on these settings right here you see this is going to be the einstein activity capture it can boost your sales reps productivity as they work in email and calendar accounts after reps connect their email and calendar account to salesforce emails and events are automatically added to the activity timelines of related salesforce i want you to click on the get started button because you would be forwarded to another page right you want to make sure that you review the terms and conditions and give einstein a try take your time to read and understand all the information in this specific page once you're happy with that all you're going to do is click that you authorize einstein or by my company to accept these terms and click on try einstein now you have three options here you can use the google suite microsoft 365 and of course the microsoft exchange if you click on the google suite what will happen is you would be forwarded here you can choose the user level where in einstein activity capture users connect their email and calendar account to salesforce or you can use the google workspace marketplace app wherein you can users connect using the company's app from the google workspace marketplace i'm going to select the first one i'm going to click on next and this right here you can put in a name all right now in this case i'm going to be putting in something like this and this is g plans make sure the, ch the check box is set to active i want you to click on next and now you have to review which data flows between the connected account and salesforce everything's been enabled for you but you can make some changes do you want the emails added to the activity timeline or not don't do it but if you want click on enable if you want events are synced between the connected account and salesforce you might want to make sure that is check you have uh, a drop down menu for both directions google suite to salesforce or the vice versa which is salesforce to google suite right i'm going to choose the both directions for now in terms of the contacts you can add new contacts and contact updates sync between the connected account and salesforce all i have to do is click on enabled or disabled all right google suite to salesforce 
or Salesforce to Google Suite, depending on your preferences. You have the option to all contacts or the contacts user own. I'm going to choose the contacts. Click on next. Now, when users first connect their account to Salesforce, it includes email sent within the last you can put in the date like 16, 90, 180, 12, 13, until 15 or 30. You can filter by end date, like how many days. That's going to be like um, same options. One until like 180. You can sync private emails, remove deleted events, choose the uh, relate sync events to Salesforce records. You can add a specific condition if you want, for example, field operator value if you don't want just remove that click the delete option you also have the option to see contacts users following chatter now when a contact matches multiple salesforce contact you have the option to choose the most recent activity or the oldest creation click on next now here on the users or profiles you can search all these here if you have only users with access to Einstein Activity Capture will be added to the configuration. And again, you can use some Einstein Activity Capture features, including sync and capture, user emails address, and must match the email in their Salesforce personal settings. You can choose the availability here from the profile, analytics, identity user, marketing user, minimum access with only profile, and a lot. Right. So for now. Let's choose the standard user profile. I'm going to click on next. Now, when you add an email address or domain to the excluded address list, this is the most important part because events are in sync between Salesforce and the connected accounts. All you have to do is provide the customer domains, internal domains, and of course, the email address. Now, for multiple entries, you can include a comma between email address. For example, I'm going to put in this. All right. After doing so, all you have to do is click on next. And that's how you basically set up your Einstein Salesforce. All right. Now you can define how your new Einstein activity capture. You can share with anyone if you want. Right here. Or if you don't want to share and you're just testing waters and experimenting with data, you might want to make it private for now. All right. Setting up the uh, Salesforce Einstein involves activating features, configuring settings, and training models based on your organization's data. All right. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.